tell me about the tell me about the defense device you built. Okay, so this is um, a self defense sort of um, gadget that uh, uses Bluetooth to communicate with cell phone, and we have here a camera unit that basically takes a picture whenever we press the shutter, and the picture gets saved and transmitted through Bluetooth to a prepared cell phone. And then the and then the cell phone also dials dials for a prefigure number for help. Okay, so you wrote a Android app on this end to associate with the with, with the, the device, device and to record the picture right. and to. It gets an alert message from the device when the push button is triggered, and once it sees the alert message, it starts saving the image data into a photo in your um, storage device, and then it shows on the app and also makes a call to a pre-configured number. Okay, so take a picture of me. Turn it on. Okay. So at the beginning, we'll have to have the Bluetooth and the entire system turned on. The Bluetooth. The power on is going to reset itself and uh, set itself as a server. Now it's powered on. So mm. now you 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 open up the app. Open they up autom the app. They automatically connect to each other. And we saw the LED go on on the Bluetooth module. And that means right. they're connected. Okay. Now so take now a picture we can of me. Take a picture of uh, you. Did already flash? I think it flashed. Did oh, I, pro flash. I probably yeah. already pressed it once. Sorry about that. We can do that. Okay. It's okay. And then it shows a warning message. Saying that the that the and, and so it's our and at that point it can be, is it dialing at this point also or it dials it, will, it dials after the photo is received. received. But you could do it the other way too. Right. Yeah. Right. If you wanted to make it a little bit faster. Right. I think that's taking a little too long because maybe the battery is not. So. Do right. I can I can believe that the. I think you might have touched something because I think the flash went off before you pushed. Before the I pressed yeah. it. <laughs> Okay, maybe maybe the circuitry behind it. Okay, let's let's turn this all off and, and, and try it again. Okay. So you want to kill, the, kill the process? All right. So from the beginning, we have to turn everything on. Um, and once it's turned on, the Bluetooth is set as a as a server, waiting for the phone to connect to it. Okay, the phone gets the connected. Phone connects. Now the LED is on. The LED is on. All right. And then now. we can take a picture. And it should start transmitting the photo immediately. <laughs> what? That was close. <laughs> so the uh, and and uh, if the batteries are low, it'll never receive, yes. right? So it'll right. hang. Yeah. Probably. Right. Do you do you have a timeout on it or anything like that yet? No. Not really, but, but you could. Yes. But it typically receives in like ten, 10 seconds or something. Right. So I think this is getting a little suspicious here. Yeah, we could really use a more powerful battery. Mm. Okay, no. so it's not going to happen today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But, but in the real device, the Bluetooth is not necessary to be always on, right? So it's it, is, it is. Yeah, so currently it's, it, it's it requires it to be on. to be always on. Although when it's actively transmitting information, it takes a lot more we current. Than, and see. Oh, sure, sure. Like um, so, when it's in active transmission, it takes a lot more current than 